It looks like I have a grandma challenge request thing. You know, somebody sent me the phone number of their grandma. He says, my name is Cody. This is my grandma. Her name is Sharon. I don't know. Go crazy. You're funny. Okay, Cody, you asked for it. Oh. Hey, grandma. Hello. Grandma, it's Cody. Yes. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. Hey, are you home? Um, we were actually, we're just driving out to go out to a birthday party in, uh, that's, uh, Emma's birthday today, or oh. her party today. Oh, God, Fire, I'm not going to where that. Where are you? Ugh. Oh, well, I was going to come by your house <laughs> and just get your lawnmower. We don't have a lawnmower. I, I mean your cell phone. Is your cell phone there? Oh, you're probably on it, aren't you? Yeah. What, what, what did you need my cell phone for, honey? Oh, I was going to modify it. I'm going to trick it out. Like, um, I'm going to overclock it and root it what does that mean uh you'll be able to like put unauthorized apps on your phone and like oh. you know there's a lot of good good oh. po- good porn stuff you know <laughs> good porn stuff <laughs> yeah oh. like if, if you if you root your phone you can do pretty much anything you want oh you can, I'm, well you, you can put a yeah. bunch of playstation games on there like oh, like great. you yeah. know pirated ones and pirated movies uh-huh how long are you going to be in town? Oh, um, you know, a couple days. I'm just here to oh. pick up some weed. Oh, okay. Since it's legal. Um, yeah. Well, uh, like I said, we're just headed out to the party. We'll be home uh, later this afternoon, or or we'll be home tomorrow for sure. Okay. Can I can I root okay, can I root both of your phones? Well, um. Uh, you have to tell me a little bit more about it, I guess. If, okay. If you need to. All right. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some spray painting on it too, like with stencils and everything. Okay. Like, we'll see. Oh no, it's <laughs> it's cool. Like it, it's it's gonna look nice. You'll see. Wait, when you see my phone, you're gonna be blown away. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow, huh? Um, how come you don't have a lawnmower? Oh, <laughs> because we have a lawn a lawn guy do the lawn and. We just got rid of it a long time ago because, you know, he what, just does our yard all the time. What day does he come? When's he coming next? Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. This this Wednesday? Uh, yeah, this coming Wednesday. Uh-huh. Oh, cool. He comes I, every Wednesday. Okay. I'm going to come up there and meet him uh, the next time he mows. I don't know about this Wednesday. Oh. Maybe the Wednesday after. Okay. You're going to be in town a lot or something? Well, it's just I, I really want to try something with the lawnmower and I don't have one. It's it's like a life hack. Oh. oh, well your dad has a lawnmower. Um he he's I'm not allowed to touch it anymore. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ever since the incident, you know. Oh, I I don't remember the incident, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have a hidden okay. key? Can I just go in your house? No, I don't anymore, honey. I don't huh. have an ex don't even have an extra one. Darn. So what do you what do you need? Well, um, you know, like under the stairs, there's like a little little hidden area type place, and yeah, um, I just don't have. Well, what I, did you need to get in the house for? Well, I, I hid I hid a, a few uh, hard drives in there. Just just you hid a few hard drives in my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Just, well, can you get them? Can, can you get them tomorrow? I guess. Or yeah. Will you come? Oh, okay. Okay. That would probably work better. All right. Okay, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in there, a bunch of tax forms and hard drives and manila folders, oh, well, and paper clips. Well, granted, it's probably, he would probably have to help you with some of that. So. Yeah, I wrote my name on it, okay. so if you found it, you would know it's mine. Okay, all righty, well, all right, you you call me, uh, we'll, let's see, the party's over at four, we probably won't stay that long, but so it'll be this evening or tomorrow, okay? What'd you get, what'd you get her for your birthday? For her birthday? For her birthday, yeah. Well, what? Well, <laughs> we just got her this Barbie mermaid doll that has all these change hair things. Uh, but we give the kids, a, all the great grandkids, a $100 bond uh. every, because I didn't think I'd be getting them, you know. So we don't get them a big present. We just get them because they get the $100 bond. So, yeah, that kind of adds up. Can you tell her so. it's from me? Can I, can I tell her if <laughs> it's a bond's from you? Yeah, yeah, just tell her it's from me. Say I paid for it and I thought of it. Okay. Well, we'll okay. We'll, we'll talk about it. All right. <laughs> I just tell her. I, I didn't get her anything. Okay. I know, but Emma d- 
doesn't even hardly know you, honey. It's okay. Yeah, I know, but you know, I, I don't want her to think I'm a cheapskate. Just tell her it's from me. Tell okay. Her, tell her you All didn't right, get her anything, honey. but luckily, Cody did. All right. <laughs> okay, honey. I'll uh, give me a call tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um. Hey, is the AC on in your car right now? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try something. Is it still on? Uh, yeah. Uh, it didn't work. I want it on. No, I know. I was trying to access it remotely. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe better not, huh? (laughs) (laughs) You're getting too techy for me, honey. I know. I just wanted to try something. Yeah. Uh, okay. I may have. Where um, are you? I, I'm. I'm. I'm waiting in a parking lot for some guy, like back back oh, by the okay. alley. Oh, okay. That sounds kind of sketchy, but okay. Oh, he's so sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> basically, the sketchiest person I know. Oh, all righty, all righty. <laughs> Okay. Well, um, is uh, Kelsey with you? Um, no, she didn't want to come along for this. She she felt it was too dangerous. Uh, do, what do you have the okay. air conditioner set on right now? Like, what what's the temperature reading? Um, it's on. Mine's on sixty seven, and Granddad's is on sixty six. Oh, that's the problem. Hold on. No, still nothing. I mean, it didn't. It didn't change, right? No, it 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 didn't. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ask. <laughs> okay. Ask Grandpa if he can feel the wheel jerk in in just a second. Okay. You want to know if you can feel the wheel jerk in a second? Did he feel it? Nope. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna. Okay. He's at a stop sign now. Oh. That's stop probably light. why. Just, I mean, he's just coming up to a stoplight. Oh, here, let me see if I can, if I, if, <clears throat> if I can make him run, make him run it. Uh, Cody. <laughs> Did it lurch out into traffic? <laughs> no, and I'm glad it didn't, because we would have ran into a car in front of it. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be your fault, though. It's, you know, I'm the one that did it. Oh, well, it still would have wrecked my new car, so... Yeah, yeah. free insurance money. Oh, no, 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 not good, not good, so, yeah. yeah. Whatever, <laughs> I'd take it. Oh, okay. Give it to me if you don't want oh. it. Oh, okay. All right, you don't sound like you for some reason. Oh, yeah, it's this It's this new phone. Um, I upgraded my phone and stenciled it, and I rooted it. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of porn on it now. Oh, okay. Um, don't like porn, really, Cody. Yeah, you know. It's not for everyone. <laughs> okay, all righty. Have you seen your dad? Uh, not yet. Um, I probably will soon. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. My contact's here. I, pr- I probably should go. Okay, hey, talk t- to you later. Tell Bye-bye. Gra- tell Grandpa to uh-huh. shut up. Uh, okay, bye. No, real quick, just before I hang up. No, I'm not going to. Please? No. Bye. I just wanted to see if you would. No. Bye. I love you. I love you too. Bye right. bye. Bye. Time out, pal. Whoa. Time out. Time out. Time out. Okay. Whoa! Time out. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Hey everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. Today is May 18th, 2021. 
And this is the last snowplow show you'll hear for the next week, which is the fault of our sponsors, The Least Creative, B.I. Ever for Life, I Regret Jumping, Gobi, and especially F and Reality. They support the show over on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. Hopefully you do too, because if you do, there should be a hobo sode tomorrow. I'm going to try my best to make that happen. But after that, I'm going to be busy for the rest of the week on a secret mission. I shouldn't be gone more than five days, maybe six Guess what, everyone? It's prank call time. Greetings, listener. I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network. Playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. I've got a request in here from the sign guy. He sent a picture of a truck to me, a reddish, maroonish truck thing, a Yukon. And the guy has a sign on the side of his truck with his phone number for some kind of a business. I can't tell what the business is. It has a weird slogan and pictures of fishing poles, but the slogan doesn't seem like it would be related to fishing. I don't know. I'm not going to go to their website. I'm just going to call this number. Hello. Hi. Hey. You drive that Yukon, right? Yes, I do, sir. (laughs) I'm so sorry that I dinged your car. Okay. Yeah, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. I'm really sorry. That's okay. That's yeah. all right, man. It's nothing but a car. I, I ain't gonna die. I ain't gonna die about no car, brother. You good? Oh, I know. Yeah, it's, it's just the antenna uh, anyway. I just I pulled the antenna. Out. I yanked it out. I sword fighting okay. with my with my friend. All right, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you telling me. Yeah. So has your radio thanks, thanks. stopped working? Yep, it's, it's stopped working. But I'll get it fixed, brother. You have a good day, though. Yeah, okay? well, you, you just have to reconnect the the wire to the antenna. You know, I, I stuck right, the okay. antenna back in there, but probably came unhooked from the wire. Hello? What the fuck? Has he been called already? That really sucked. That's a horrible first call. Sorry, sign guy. I guess I messed that one up. Either that or that guy gets a ton of prank calls because of his sign. Hold on, I'm going to go to this website of his with its really dumb misspelling in the URL. Oh, it is for fishing rod stuff. It's for fishing rod floats. I guess so if you drop your fishing rod... It floats on the water. You don't lose it. But man, his sign sucks. It's all cryptic. Nobody would ever know what that means. All right, another one from the sign guy. We've got a pavement maintenance company. He doesn't tell me where it's located. He just gives me the website. Looks like it's in the middle of a field or just a large grassy area, I guess. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. You didn't say hello. You got to say hello when you pick up. Yeah, I said hello. Oh, who, no, who no, no, you didn't. You said hello before you picked up. You have to pick up and, you know, count to one and then say hello. That's how it works. Otherwise, people don't hear you. Okay, who am I speaking with? Oh, this is Grega from the City of Independence. I'm in the public, in the, in the comptroller's office. Okay. Uh, they're going to be at your house tomorrow morning to start digging a hole. Uh, it's going to be right in the middle of the front yard, kind of there on the left side. Oh, okay. And what that's for? Uh, They're going to be dumping uh, all of the signs of yours that they found into the hole. Okay. All all the signs you've been, you know, just posting up everywhere, all over the side of roads and stuff. I don't even I don't even know what you're even talking about. Oh, your your signs for the uh, parking lots, crack ceiling, patching, stripping, seal coating, driveways. It's, it's been a little bit since I set one of them up. Yeah, they've been collecting them for years. So they got a big collection okay. of your signs here. They're gonna they're gonna break them all in two and throw them in this hole in your front yard. And you're gonna be responsible no. for filling up that hole. Okay, we'll that. just go ahead and just bring them my signs over. I need some anyhow. With the dirt. Oh no, they're gonna break them first. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to reuse okay. them. Okay. Okay. What do you need, sir? Uh, I just told you uh, they're gonna be there tomorrow, probably around. 9 or 10 in the morning to start digging that hole. It's going to be uh, three city workers. They're going to be there with some trucks. Okay, and why are they digging the hole? Uh, they're digging the hole there to throw all of your signs into it. Now, you, you better get you better get for real here for a minute. I mean, because uh, oh, I'm, I'm about tired of this call already. Okay, well, I'm being for real. I'm just letting you know. I'm in the comptroller's office with the city of I, I have I have no goddamn signs out there. I know you don't. We've we've ta- Every time we see one, we take it down because you're not supposed to just be posting those on private property and stuff. So, you know, just 
It's been, I think it's probably been over a year since I posted a sign. Listen here, sir. So I don't know who you think you're talking to. Oh, I know exactly who I'm talking to. I'm just letting you know. Okay. They're going to be there tomorrow morning and they're going to start digging the hole. And then uh, another guy will come with the signs and dump them in. They got a bunch of them. But they're all they're all uh, broken in half. You can't reuse them. We we thought of yeah, that. Yeah, could we, I get your name? We knew you'd try that one, so we broke them all in I half. Say, who who are who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Grega. Grega. Yep. Okay. I don't know what you're even talking about on bar signs. Oh yes, you do. No, we, who, who, who am I? I? I'm looking at a big old collection of your signs right here. They got a big pile of them. They have. Yeah, this is our new thing we're doing. Well, everyone that puts those signs down that they're not supposed who to be putting down everywhere. Who am I? You don't know who say you are? Say my name. I don't have to say your name. What, you think you're important well, or something? Well, I don't know what you're even talking about to begin you with. You think you're a goddamn Walter White? I think I'm going I'm to I'm cancel this call. Have oh, a nice you, day. You better. Okay. Hey, listen. Learn how to answer your phone. Okay. I didn't actually know his name or his address or anything like that. I went to his website, but there's no address on there. But this submission from the sign guy is from April 29th of this year. So unless he is taking pictures of signs and holding on to them for an entire year, that guy's full of shit. He put this sign up recently. Or maybe his signs just last forever out there. Maybe nobody takes them down. You know what? I'm just going to do nothing but the sign guy today. Maybe. I don't know. He's got a lot of them in here. He sends a lot of stuff in, and there's some stuff in here that is not the signs that you put into the ground. This next one is a sign on a bulletin board, like a flyer, and it's from a university, and it says, Study with Young Mothers. I want to study with young mothers. Oh, and it's a Zoom. Oh, hello? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, I was calling about your flyer. Yes? About studying with young mothers. The one I see, it looks like it has April dates on it. Are you still doing that uh -huh. in May? Yes, we're still doing that in May. Okay, great. I want to study with young mothers. Is there a fee? Um, no, there is not a fee. So, so what are you interested in? Uh, mostly the young mothers. Uh, exactly how young do they tend to be? So where are you calling from? I, I'm I'm here in the you know just here here the I'm I'm right near the university. Uh huh. Yeah. So I so our study looks for young mothers. Yeah. So so the people that we would like to participate in our focus group are women between eighteen and thirty years old. Okay, great. And uh, are a lot of them pregnant? I like the pregnants. So what you are, what we are going to be doing with the focus group is we will... Uh, I like how you say focus. Work. Sorry, go ahead. Mm. Shit. Today is just going to be a big old show of failure, I guess. I messed that one up. Let me call her right back. Maybe that was an accidental hang up. I'm going to assume that it was. It says on the flyer that, you know, are you pregnant or do you have a baby? Is your income below $40,000? Do you have access to a smartphone or the internet? You've reached the University of Missouri. Darn I'm it. So She's not going to pick up now. Not for me. I tried a couple of times, so I guess that one's over. I ruined it. Sorry, the sign guy. I got too excited about the young mothers, especially the pregnant ones. That's something that me and Dragonmere have in common. We love those pregnants. He likes to go to the grocery store and just watch them. Here are five signs all in a big grassy area, halfway between an electrical box and a gas pipeline. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. Thank you so much for calling Lawn Service. We apologize for not being able to Darn pick it. the phone. If you would like to leave your name, phone number, and address, we can promptly send someone over to give you a free estimate on your property. Thank you so much for calling, and we look forward to hearing from you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey there, I was calling about the leaves removal on the free estimate and all that. Please, please call me back. Thank you. Hopefully they got my number on that one. Next is a lawn service. Hello. Hey there, it, it's Grega from the uh, Public Works Department here in Kansas City. Yes. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, you put one of your signs over here on 135th and State Line. 
135th and what, sir? Uh, you know, right next to the gas pipeline. Where at, sir? On 135th and uh, State Line. Here in Kansas City. Okay, that may have been one of my guys. I'm sorry, sir. Is there something wrong? Well, it's just that he, he poked the, you know, it's got those metal metal pokers, and they poke straight down into the ground, right into the gas pipeline. And, uh, you know, they poked into the gas pipeline? Yeah, and then that started a small gas leak, and as you saw, there was an electrical box right behind all these signs. And, oh boy, it, it pretty much knocked out all the traffic lights uh, within a 10-block radius. There, there was a your sign. Are you go, serious? Yeah, your sign is uh, it's toast. There, because there, uh, there was a big puff. Let of, me ask you. What? Go ahead, sir. I, I don't mean to interrupt you. It's okay. I didn't. I didn't put that sign there myself. Yeah. It could have been my wife, for all I know. But let me ask you something. Oh, that bitch. Had she? I'm sorry. What's that? Nothing. I had she what? Uh, had she poked that in? Wouldn't it not have shocked her right away? Oh no! It, she didn't poke it into the electrical lines. She poked it into the uh, the gas pipeline that she, uh, you know, put it right next to. She put it directly in between a gas pipeline and an electrical box. And that knocked out the lights. Yeah. Well, the, it, it poked lights? it poked a hole into the gas pipeline, and you know, then the the gas started leaking out, and then it got next to the electrical box, and uh, the whole field caught on fire. And the electrical box melted, and now all the traffic lights are out. And that's 135th and State Line? Yeah, yeah. Can you ask your wife not to do that anymore? You better fucking believe I'm going to tell her oh, that yeah. again. Yeah, you, you tell her good. I will. Yeah, you, you, you just... And who you, are you with? You, you let her have it. I'm with the Public Works Department. Okay, what was your name? I guess she just doesn't know her own strength. You know, she poked right through a, a gas pipeline. Are you there right now? Uh, no, there's uh, there's caution tape all around it. We're not allowed to be anywhere near it. Thank you, sir. There, there's a bunch of worker men out here, you know, fixing everything up. Uh, you better believe I'm gonna fucking tell her something. Oh, what are you, what are you gonna tell her? Tell tell me how you're gonna tell her. Well, sir, I don't mean to be rude, but does it really matter? Uh, yeah, yeah. I wanna. I mean, th you, this is a, a major event here, and oh yeah, this is a really major thing. Trust me, sir, because. Uh, I used to do a lot of underground plumbing, so I know what it's like and why people have to call dig safe and shouldn't put a shovel in the ground without calling dig safe. So, I mean, yeah, yeah I'll be what, right there in a minute. What, what are these? What are these sign pokers made out of? Titanium or something? Was she sharpening them I up no first? I have no idea, sir. I've never seen them. You've never seen one of your own signs for your lawn service? I've seen the signs. I've never seen the brackets that they go on, sir. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your your wife replaced the brackets with some, uh, you know, carbon fiber stuff, and probably sharpened the edges of them so they'd poke through. Well, the... I seriously doubt that. Well, I don't know how else it would poke through a gas pipeline. That doesn't make sense, right? Well, it doesn't make sense, but I don't know why she'd replace them with carbon fiber and sharpen the edges. No, I don't know how else it would go through the gas pipeline. Now, now they're going to well, make I... us bury these gas pipelines like even further down. Well, how deep was it? Uh, about six feet. Why is she using such long, long poker things on the signs? Did well, they... I doubt she poked it, but thank well, you. Well, I I'll think I think she did poke it. Tell me. Oh, I was kind of wanting to defuse that one because it sounded like he wanted to go home and show his wife who's boss or something, like in a bad way. But he's on the way over there. He's going to see that all the signs didn't go up in smoke and all the traffic lights work and the gas pipelines are fine. How was he even believing that? That you could puncture a gas pipeline with a little aluminum metal pokey thing? That guy said he worked with gas pipelines, didn't he? Oh, somebody's calling me back and I don't know who it is, but it's from this area. Public Works, this is Grega. Can I talk to Robert? Robert? Yeah. Uh, hold on. What? Robert! Yeah, th this is Robert. Hello? Hey, Robert, Robert. Hey, what's up? Do you want me to, like, dig in the, in the, in the trench or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to dig all over that fucking trench. Who is this? This is Robert. That we're going to play this game? Oh, what game? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, at least you make it a little fake voice. 
I'm, I'm not doing a, a I, why would you think this is a fake voice? What, why are you thinking? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who are you talking to? I'm sorry. Oh, no. It's, I got a wrong number? Oh, no, no. That, that, that was Robert. Uh, he, he threw the phone at me. He's like, fuck this guy. I'm, <laughs> I'm taking my lunch break. He's walked out of the room. Um, did I got a wrong number? No, no. You, you called the number in your phone. How could it be a wrong number? Rob, Robert, on, Robert said he's never going to dig a trench with you again because you kept grabbing his ass. Uh, come on, man. Like, you serious got time for this? No, it's, it's... Like, why you not just let me work and do, do my job? Like, you think you're funny? No, I'm not trying to be funny. Like, Robert's really mad at you because you keep grabbing Can his ass. Is so, he? so, yeah, you just you, you got to stop doing that. that. That's sexual harassment. On the job, yeah. Yeah. Good job. What are you doing? I'm gonna keep calling you. Again. Do, don't. Don't. Do but you don't. You don't. You don't. I told me if I got a wrong number or no. I don't have no wrong number. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. That's what your mom's saying. Oh, there you go. We're gonna start with your mom, and later it's gonna be my sister. I tell you, man. You might be single and masturbating on the fucking couch. I am right now, to your voice. Yeah, I know. Yep. I can tell you. You're pretty, with your stupid voice, you probably... Oh, you're, you're pretty sexy. Hey, how dare you? All right, I hung up on him. I don't know what that was. It must have been from something I tried previously. It's probably from that voicemail I left earlier. And he thought he was calling back the last number that he talked to, but it was actually my number. That's my guess. I don't know. Let's call this gutter cleaning guy. Yeah, you reached Dennis. Uh, I'll leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Damn it. Purple sign guy won't pick up, and that's the last one. I mean, there is this, this other sign that says Amazon liquidation sale but it just has an address on it. Here, let me put this address in and see what this is. It's an unmarked building on both maps and on street view. Weird. Anyway, I'm gonna make this uh, picture here from the sign guy. I'm gonna make that today's show art since I seem to only be doing sign calls today because I kind of like this picture right between the gas pipeline and the electric box. All these different signs up. Thanks, the sign guy, for the show art. Here's one that's not a sign, again, this is a Facebook post, but he sent me pictures of this van that this guy is selling. It's a red 1997 Ford Econoline extended van for $1,800 on Facebook. And it's got, like, it's like very 70s or early 80s looking. It's all red and then it's got gold stripes down the side and gold panels or something. And then the other picture shows all the seats down and it's basically a giant bed in the back which seems mighty suspicious to me. Why do you need a bed in the back of your van? It's my... Oh, hey, uh, I was calling about that, that van that I dinged, oh, was... your red van. The orange one? Well, is it orange? It's more like red with gold all over the side of it. Oh, uh, that's right, though. It's orange. I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Anyway, but yeah, like, so, uh... sorry, I, sorry I dinged it. Oh, you good? Um, yeah, were just you trying to look at it. No, no, I, I, I was driving by and like uh, I just I was texting to be honest, and I just kind of oh, okay. swerved over and you know like the runner on the bottom where you put your foot on. And, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. Fe that fell completely off. So uh, oh, okay. you know, I, I took a drill and drilled some holes in it and and you know like screwed it back in into the frame. Yeah. So so you couldn't tell, but I mean I think you can still tell a little bit. So you bought the van? No, no, but before, I, I didn't buy the van. Did, did you sell it to someone? No, I didn't sell it. Uh, well, I'm selling it for a friend. I don't know if somebody bought it yet. I oh. tried to call him today. Oh, no, I, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I wouldn't buy an old van like that. That's ugly. Oh, okay. But, yeah, I, I, just, <laughs> it, it was, I, I just felt bad because I, I knocked the runner thing off of it. and. Uh, oh, okay. You, know, you, just, you just need a van, or just need a vehicle? Or? No, no, I I don't want a van at all. I I'm, what I'm saying oh, is, okay. I, I was driving by and I was texting while driving, and I slammed yeah. into the side of the van. Oh, okay. And and my my bumper is very low to the ground, 
So uh, I I knocked the runner off of the van. I I broke the van. I dinged the car. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, uh we got a we got a mechanic shop. You need to bring it out here. <sighs> Are you not listening to me, sir? Uh yeah, but I'm not getting what you're saying. Are you just really I'm high or right. something? Are you not comprehending? No, you, you're telling me you got an accident with a van. Yeah. Or you asking me about yeah. I, I I ran into your van. And it was all my fault. I was texting while driving. God damn it. It's not my van because I don't drive a van. Can you give me your friend's number? I bet you he's more emotionally invested in this than you are. Is it an orange van? And maybe he's sober. Yeah, it's totally orange. It's not red at all. That's the, okay. the deepest give... orange I've ever seen. Okay, well, I'll give you the number to his van. Okay, the number to his van. Let's have it. All right. All right. Give me a second. All right. Well, I'll text it to you. No. That's cool. No, no, I don't. I don't know how to text. All right. I have fat fingers. Yeah, All right, you ready? Yeah. Nine one three. Yeah. Two. Ninety four. Ninety four. Thank you, you son of a bitch. Yeah. You son of a bitch, motherfucker. What's his name? Uh, his name is James. What is it, James? Yeah, it's James. Okay. I'm going to give James a piece uh, of my mind. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to tell him that you said it was cool that I hit his van. It was fine. And th that I hit his van and then I did a shoddy repair job of it. I'm going to say that you said that was fu You're okay with that. Motherfucker. Okay. Get really what? I can't. I can't even hear you. Put your phone to the mouth. Your mouth to the phone. Either way. You on PCP phone? What? You on PCP or something? I'm not on PCP. Tripping? At least I know how to talk into my phone. You tripping? I'm not tripping. <laughs> you're tripping. I'm not tripping. You you're, can't you're, walk on. you're you're the one with an '80s van or '90s. I mean, a '70s van. I don't have a van, sir. Yeah. So you, you think that red is orange. You're colorblind, motherfucker. Nah, I'm not colorblind. Yes, you I are. Do. It's the reddest van okay. I've ever seen. Red and gold. Okay. You have a red day. Uh, orange wasn't even invented in the 70s. All right. Let's call back. Let's call James before that guy calls James. He probably won't pick up. James, speaker. James, I'm calling about that red van of yours with all the gold on it. Yeah. That, that econo, <laughs> econo line. All oh, the gold. You mean the orange van? Is it orange? It looks pretty red to yeah. me. I think you're on. I I think it's. I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm sorry I dinged it. You dinged it? Yeah. Yeah. I was just. I was going down the road. I wasn't even going that fast. Luckily. But well, your van there. Yeah. Well, no, no, I'm not. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want an old ass van. But well, you got it now. You dinged it. <laughs> well, no, I did. I didn't. I fixed what I did. You know the runner on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I knocked that off. Totally off. Well, maybe you got the wrong person there. What do you mean? No, I fixed it. I, I, I drilled some holes and I, I attached it to the frame and I think it's as good <laughs> as new. But you're not gonna want to step on it anymore. Oh. Well, you do got the wrong person because I don't have a red van with the runners on it. Okay, it's orange, okay? It's orange. Yeah. Yeah. Is that better? I'll just say it's yeah, orange. Yeah, it's orange. There you go. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm sorry I dinged your van. It was an mm -hmm. accident. All right, let me look on camera and see who you are if I can take you to court. No, you're not taking me to court. Michael told me it was fine. Yeah, he did? Yeah. Well, I take both of you out of court. How's that? I don't care what you do to Michael, but I didn't do anything wrong. I fixed the the thing that I knocked off there. Uh huh. It, it's hooked up there just fine. It looks as good as new. You can't even tell. Just don't step yeah, on it. Right. Don't step on it because I didn't. I didn't put up screws. Where you at? Where, where, the, you, where you at? I, I'm in my car still. All right, I'm coming out there right now. Well, no, I'm not in. I'm not out there. But well, you should go out there and look right now. I'll I'll tell you where to look. All right, I'm gonna go out there. You fucking idiot. Yep. Yeah. Look like they look right now. What? 
I'm going to go out there and look right now. Yeah. I don't like Michael, by the way. He was, he was uh, like, he didn't know how to use a phone. And he kept, <laughs> he kept like holding his phone upside down while he's talking to me. Yeah. Idiot. Hey, Amanda. Idiot. Why do you even have okay, that? I'm looking. Why do you even have that van? That's a working van. It's not a working it's a money van. Maker. It's a money maker van. That's what it is. Bullshit. You're probably taking bitches back there and fucking them with those seats down. <laughs> is that, what you, sure mean by, that, is that what you mean by work? <laughs> like you're a prostitute? Yeah, you dinged it up pretty bad. No, you can't even tell, right? Yeah, I can tell. Unless you take your hand and move it back and forth, then you can tell. Oh, yeah. we got to go to court now. No. It's not happening. <laughs> What's going on? I don't give you permission to take me to court. What's going on? Uh, nothing. I, I just called to let you know I'm sorry I dinged your van. Your orange van. All right. Appreciate it. I love you. Take care. I love you. Uh-huh. Take care. Well, no, you have to say it back or you're, you're making it weird. Yeah, right. You is weird. I'm not weird. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. Say it back. None of my attempted cardings are working out today. All right, here's another sign that's poked into the ground with those metal aluminum spikes. Or is that aluminum? Is it just, I don't know what kind of metal it is. Anyway, metal spikes. It's a carpet cleaning thing. He charges $25 per room and $10 per haul. He probably just bought one of those cheap $100 Walmart shampooer things for his home carpet. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to make this pay for itself. I'm going to go around cleaning up other people's carpets. Get $10 per haul. John. Hey, is this the carpet cleaning? It is. Okay, uh, I'm. Th- this is Grega from the city of Overland Park. Okay. Hey, uh, you put your sign down in this this grass here. Uh, it's uh, it's on uh, 435 and Nall Nail- Highway. The exit, you know. 435 and Nall. Yeah, and and you uh, you poked the sign into some electrical lines, so. Uh, you know, the, the, the whole aluminum frame of it is electrified and people keep getting shocked. Like people are walking on the grass barefoot. They get shocked. Are you serious? Yeah. And if they touch the sign, they, they start, they get like shocked pretty bad. Like some little kids were walking by there and they, they were touching the sign and they got shocked. Like the blades of grass, when they touch their legs, it shocks them. This has got to be a prank. Oh, no. No, I wouldn't joke about this. You just you need to go over there and remove that sign. We can't remove it because if we touch it, we get shocked. There is a sign that is shocking people right now. Yeah, yeah. You, you drove it straight into some electrical line underground. It must be connected to the, to the light pole or something. I don't know. You shouldn't shove it in there okay. so hard. You're going you're gonna to go through the wires. Okay, where is this at? Uh, it's on uh, 435 and Nall Highway, the the Nall Highway exit in Overland Park. So you, you gotta okay. you gotta go pick that up and bring some gloves or something, because you know it's kind of damp okay. out. It's kind of damp out there, so even the sign itself is is shocking us. And you know, like uh, Doug tried to remove it. He said he didn't like it. He wouldn't. He he's not gonna do it. He said I don't get paid for this. He who, get... who said that? Doug, my coworker, Doug. And who are you? Uh, my name's Grega. I'm f- I'm from the the city of Overland Park. I'm in the comptroller's office. In the what office? The comptroller's office. Here with the city. Comptroller. <sighs> Sir, can you please hurry up and remove that sign? People are walking by there and getting shocked. Yeah, can you? I'm just trying to get your information. You're with Comptroller Office. I'm with the Comptroller's Office. It's a department with the city. The Comptroller's Office. Do you have a phone number? Yeah, it's on your caller ID. If you need to call me back, that's my direct extension. All right, thank you, sir. All right, just get over there quick and and remove that sign. Because you know, if it rains enough, it's it's going to get really conductive and and start oh. killing. Okay, there he goes. I wanted to do that idea where the electrical box was and the gas pipeline, but nobody else there would answer, so I had to do it to this guy instead. But he is right next to a uh, utility pole, like a crosswalk signal thing, where lots of people are probably crossing by and getting shocked by his stupid sign placement.
All right, here's one for clog free gutters, but there's no hyphen there. So it looks like they're just giving away free gutters. I mean, not really, but anyway, I'm going to call this. This is Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, this is Brad. Hey, I, I was, I was biking. I was, hey, I was biking over there on Homer Adams and uh, I saw one of your signs for the clog free gutters. Yeah. And and you put those those uh, spike strips across the sidewalk right next to your sign, so people would notice. You, you popped my tires, and that that was not cool. Not spike strips. We just have a little, uh, just a little yard sign that's plastic with a little wire H. Yeah, yeah. You the the wire H. It looks like the spike strips were made out of the same. They they were like homemade spike strips made out of the wire H thing. And that that you put next to your sign, and you know what? I'm not gonna buy gutters from you if if you're gonna like puncture my tires. I gotta, I gotta patch my tires now. I don't even know if they can be patched. Where is, where is that at? Uh, it's like right between two little sidewalk things, over there on Homer Adams Parkway. Homer Adams Parkway. Yeah. So I I just wanted to tell you that's not cool. It's not it's not a Christian thing to do, going around. Not at all. Popping I, tires I, and, and or someone. And would, it was a gutter sign. Yeah, yeah. And then the the homemade spike strips were made out of out of the uh, what's that made out of? Aluminum? Those those uh, the wire stuff. I'm not sure, sir. I we don't have anything like that. That's why I'm trying to figure out what. Um, well, you, you you admitted that you have the uh, the H the H wire thing and. That's the same material so these the spike sign, strips are yeah, made out in the of. Yard. You know, somebody could step on those. They could, like, hurt their I, feet. Sir, I believe you. I, I, I agree. But, I mean, I'm saying we, we don't ever put down a spike strip. So I mean, that's that, why I'm trying to figure out the address. I'm the general manager. I'll drive there right now and see. Yeah, that, that's no way um, to get business. You know, making No kidding. Like, I, uh, I definitely saw what? the sign and, and, you know, called you up when, 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 I, when my tires went flat. But still, not Homer cool. Adam. Um, I'm trying to figure out where that's at. I don't know. I just made up the street name. I'm not familiar with the streets around here. I was just biking around the neighborhood. and But yeah, like just... Uh, well, if you tell me where it happens, we'll go take care of it right now. Yeah, well, I picked up your spike strips and I threw them in the grass. But now now, now some little kid's probably going to be running through the grass and bloody up their feet. I couldn't be bothered to go take it to the trash can because... You know, like I, I, it's not like I can bike to a trash can. I got to walk my bike home, sir. I, if you tell me where it's at, I can go there. I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's like we're two. Uh, there's a sidewalk on either side of it. Okay, what city are you in? Or maybe it's like the little easement thing next to a road. It's hard to tell from the sign guy's picture. What what city? Dayton, Ohio. Oh my gosh! Okay, sir, so you've reached Kansas City. I know. I'm kidding. Like it was a stupid <laughs> question. I know it's Kansas City. I know what city I'm in. Okay. Well, I... okay, look, I'm just well, a little angry because you flattened both of my bike tires. Now I gotta like carry my bike home. This bike's sir, heavy. I'll come. I'll come, we'll come pick you up. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to help you out or, or try to figure out what this is, but I, why would we you, don't put down any white strips. Why would you pick me up so you can sell me bike tire patches? Is that is that the scam here? No, sir. I mean, I don't really want to ride in the I, car with somebody that would flatten my tires on purpose just to get some gutter business. We did not flatten your tires on oh, purpose. Oh, yes, you did. It's so obvious. The the uh, okay, sir. the rest the rest of the the you know the thing that the spikes were coming out of is like a flat thing on the ground. I turned it upside down and it was a clog free gutters sign that you had all the little aluminum things sticking out of. So I, ca- case closed. I don't know where it. I can go get it. I can go look at it, but I don't know where to go? How do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Motion denied. You lose. I'm going to tell everyone okay, so not to have... use you as as their gutter person. Okay. I 
I, I, I can't help you if you don't give me information. Okay, well, I gave you all the information I could. It's it's right here next to the <laughs> Dayton, sidewalk. Ohio, that Homer was, Adams Parkway. That I was all right, biking sir. down. Well, you bring bring me a receipt and I'll pay for it. Oh, I, I don't. I'm not asking for you to pay for it. I'm not a scammer like you. I'll pay for my oh, own God. stuff. I'm an Thank you for your time. You're kind of an Thank asshole. You. Okay. It really is hard to tell from this picture what this is exactly. It's probably you know just a little grass patch between the sidewalk and the street. It's very overgrown, probably because nobody can get their lawnmower through because the sign's in the way. Oh, here's one that could be good for a carding prank. I'm finally going to get this to work, I bet, except he's probably not going to answer. But it's a, uh, I don't know what you call this. It's a big SUV looking thing. It's all black, has tinted windows, and it's got pictures of money all over the side of it because it's some kind of a, a I don't know. Oh, it's a we buy gold, silver, we buy gift cards, coins. And he tells me which parking garage it was. Bobby. Hey, hey. Uh, this is Grega. This is who? Grega. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I dinged your your car, that black truck thing. I don't. What, today? Uh, you know, it was a couple days ago. I I just got around to calling today. Oh, uh, I don't. Isn't the park, must, parking garage at the casino? I was in the garage, parking garage at the casino. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want, that ain't mine. You want to talk to the guy that drives it? I think it's a suburban. Yeah. yeah you sure. Want to talk to. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. What was that? Hello. Hello. What? Yeah. What happened? Oh, hey. Is this a suburban guy? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry I dinged your Suburban. And when we're at? Oh, is it the casino? In the parking which, garage? Which one? What do you mean, which one? Which parking garage? Yeah, well, which casino? The Ameristar. Okay. When was? When did you do this? Uh, was, you know, a couple months ago. But anyway, I'm, yeah. I just wanted to say I'm sorry that I dinged your car. Oh, well, that's okay. It was an accident. It's not mine anyways. I don't really give a shit. You could have crushed it. Okay. Well, I almost did. I was running up and down, you know, back and forth on the roof. I was trying to get something up there in the up in the rafters. Oh. Uh, There's like a little mouse up there. Did you ha did you hit the front fender? Bob was just wanting to know. No, I didn't I didn't hit it with the car. I I was I got up on top of it. And you got up on top of it. I, yeah, I was running back and forth on the roof, and you know how you have kind of a luggage rack thing. Yeah, I kept tripping on that and falling, and you know I'm a heavy guy, but I also uh, I knocked I I pulled one of those luggage racks off with my steel-toed boots. Hmm, they're all still there. What? The luggage racks are all still there. No, it's there. I I, I it's it's cracked though. Like I had to snap it back in. And I was just kind of hoping it wouldn't fall off easily. Oh. But yeah, so I, you, but also I was on to apologize two yeah, months I, later. Yeah, I was dent, I was denting the roof a lot too. I think probably maybe it popped back out. There was a mouse up there in the rafters in the parking garage, and your car was tall enough for me to get up there and try and feed it. And what's your name? Grega. Grega. Yes. Bob. Is this not Danny? No, it's Grega. No, it's Grega. I guess. Why don't you just tell him to shut the fuck up and stop inserting himself in our conversation? Well, tell, that's technically tell, it's tell, his vehicle. Tell him you're on the phone. I just drive it. Well, then why did he? Why did he give you the phone then? I don't know. Well, that's weird. Well, he's a kind of weird guy. Yeah. He shits in the shower. Michael Rappaport told us. All right. That's well, pretty... I mean, two months later, it serves no purpose of the call, but I appreciate it. What do you mean it serves no purpose? It serves no purpose? Kind of like call two months later. Kind of like that stupid ass joke you just told that I don't even get because it probably wasn't uh, funny. Two months later, you're gonna call? I mean, that's like if I was fucking your wife, and I tell you three months later it's supposed to be okay. Then. Yeah, that that one fell flat too. Good try uh, though. 
I just I just don't understand what the phone call. Why would you? Do you have a guilty conscience all of a sudden? No, not all. I I've been a little busy the past two months. You know, I've been I I, I moved and you know a lot. It's of, almost like kind of like you ever you remember? Uh, oh, here we go uh, again. Well, Billy Madison, where he calls and apologizes to the guy, and then <laughs> I'm, but I'm not putting lipstick on. Oh, so so you're you're telling me you're gonna come and like shoot me with the machine gun or something? No. That's what it sounds like. like. Sounds like to me. Oh well, you need to go watch the movie then. You, you would, you kind of miss the whole point of it. Yeah, yeah, I need to, yeah, I need to go watch go more watch. shitty old '90s movies, don't I? I don't know. Do you have a last name, Grega? Yeah. What so is I was just calling to apologize. Well, I mean, you got to give me your full name. Why? You said well, it how doesn't. How else am I going to look it up into the FBI database? You said it doesn't even matter. Well, tell me what then? What the fuck's your name? Just because you're in the FBI database doesn't mean that you have access to it. Not in the FBI database. Yes, you are. No. It's a database, not a database. You fucking God, idiot. I'm trying to get this stupid bowling shit done for him. What? What he, shit? All he treats me. All he treats me like a slave. Yeah. It's just constantly work, 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 work. Yeah. Tell, tell him is also his his suburban's really tacky. Pictures of yeah. coins on it. What the fuck is that? Bobby says your suburban's really tacky because it's got coins on it. Tell him it looks gay as shit. It looks gay as shit. You should let Ben... Ben Chapelo should drive it then. I'm kind of glad I crushed the roof in and knocked one of the luggage rack things off. He says he's glad he crushed in the roof and knocked one of the luggage racks off. You're like that lady in Galaxy Quest that just repeats yeah, everything... That repeats everything the computer says. Galaxy Quest. I don't even know what movie that is. Oh, whatever. Is. You're quoting Billy Madison. Yeah, Adam Sandler. He's a classic. No, he's Who not. Fucks? Yes, he is. No, he's not. His too. Yeah, watch anything he's done in the past year and you'll hate him. Forever. Oh, shit. Yeah, we watch. What's the movie with Adam Sandler where he's the fucking gets shot in the head at the end of the movie, Bob? Oh, that sounds like a great movie. I'd love to see Adam Sandler get shot in the head. Uncut Gem. But it's like a documentary. Where they actually shoot him. Or it's like an accident, like Brandon Lee. Was it the left or the right Hey, look, more, more 90s movie references. I gotta go. I don't like this. This is boring. This is going on way too long. I, I said I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. That's the best you got? Yeah. You're not gonna, like, give no money? Should Bob give me money for it? Who the fuck is Bob? That's the owner of the vehicle. Yeah, like I would know that. Well, his name's on the fucking... Cool. Oh, okay. It says Bobby here. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I don't want to be on speakerphone. Uh, All right, dude. You, you and Bob, you, you both eat shit, okay? Oh, we, we will, I guess. All right, bye. I gotta take, take another care. call. There's another call coming in. Hello. Yeah, this is Dennis from the Gutter Service. Oh, geez, you're looking. You're coming in hot. Hey, uh, yeah, um, that sign. That sign that you put in the ground, it punctured yeah. a, an electrical line. It's shocking everybody. Oh, bullshit. What do you mean, bullshit? What sign? The, you put a sign in the ground for your gutter company. You put it right yeah, next, where at? You put it right next to a pipeline, right in between a pipeline and an electrical box. What did you think was going to happen, you fucking idiot? I didn't put them out there. I had somebody else do it. Oh, that doesn't remove you of guilt. You know, no, I know. Your phone wh number's where, on where, there. Where is that? Your business. I know. Where's that? Like where's that sign at? Everybody that walks by there in the grass, they get shocked. I don't get shocked. And, and there's there's a bunch of worms coming out of the ground because of this. It's causing a real mess on the sidewalks. Oh, fuck. Where's the sign at? Uh, it's like right there by the Walmarts. Which Walmart? Hey, look, I'm going to hang up on you, sir. I'm sorry I dinged your car. Hold on. All right, I hung up on him. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we're alone. All right. All right. By so, Walmart, huh? Yeah. So I'm with the comptroller's office. They asked me to call you up and ask you to remove that sign because you put it into the ground low enough that you punctured an electrical line, and it's kind of causing problems. It's making people get shocked. Whenever they touch All the right. sign, what, and what, what, what what Walmart? So I can go know the, which one. The Walmart and, and the the hardware store. It's on the corner of I think Knoll and something and four thirty whatever. I don't know. 
I had all this in front of me like, you know, 20 minutes ago when I tried to call you. Yeah. What were you doing yeah. that you couldn't pick up? I was ha- cleaning gutters. Oh, okay. Well, maybe don't yeah. put your signs up everywhere like that and puncture them into electrical lines. Well, I'm sorry I didn't. Like I said, I, my help went out and did it. And, but it's still my sign, like you said. I get that. Yeah, you, you tell him to you know, watch where he's putting the sign. Tell him not to put it directly between a, a gas pipeline and an electrical box. And he'll have less problems. All right, Nolan. P- pretty much, they didn't, they didn't, that entire field is electrified now. Like all the other signs that everybody else puts there, those are also electrified. Well, it could have been one of their signs too. I don't know. Oh no, no, we traced it down uh, to yours. I'll pull my sign we, we, uh, we came over and we spray painted where all the electrical lines are, and it goes right underneath where your sign pokes in. Okay. And uh, yeah. All just, right, I'll get out there and pull pull that thing. You know okay. the you know the traffic lights just up the up the block a bit. Those, those I don't know. I'm trying to. Ha- those, I'm just going to go over there. Those are flickering because of you. They're flickering. You're, you're making the 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 traffic lights flicker and the walk lights and everything. Everything's flickering because of you. All right. Your stupid sign. All right, I'll go pull it. Thanks for calling. Maybe start using wooden stakes instead of metal ones. Yeah, that ain't a bad idea. Yeah, because they're less conductive. But they'll still poke through electrical yeah. lines, but at least they won't electrify everything else in the ground. All righty. You know how many worms you've killed? Like, there's just dead worms all over the sidewalk and the street and the curb and everything. Okay, is there anything else you want me to know? I'm going to go pull it. Yeah, you're a piece of shit that's created mass genocide against worms oh my god hundreds and hundreds of worms i think that clued him in that it's a joke he's probably not going to go there now and remove the sign i like how they all blame somebody else other than themselves like the guy before said it was his wife this guy said it was the help none of them can take responsibility for their actions all right here's a gutter cleaning place posted at the corner of blah 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 outside of saint Teresa's. Catholic Girls High School. And the sign guy says, I'm not trying to pick up on high school girls, but maybe they are. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Is this the the gutter cleaning? Yes, we do clean gutters. Okay, yeah, it's hard to hear you. What, are you on speaker or something? Yeah, I'm driving on speaker. Okay. Want me to call you back a little bit? I'll be home and probably... I'm I'm calling from the the city, uh, from the comptroller's office. Uh, we, I'm just calling about the sign that you put up in front of the, the Catholics high school. Oh, okay. I'm... All right. Uh, they, they just wanted me to call and ask you the, the school asked me to call and ask you to, to stop perving all on all the, the Catholic girls there at the high school. It's a little weird. You're, you're a bit old for them. So for what? Like whenever you put your signs down, like, and you see the, the, the Catholic high school girls walking around, you're always like raising your eyebrows at them and winking and they really want you to stop. Uh, it's a prank call? I'm sorry. What? It's hard to hear you. It's a prank call. Oh no, no, I wouldn't prank call, sir. I'm, I'm an adult. I'm a grown ass man, but they wanted me to call and just ask if he could stop doing that. Cause that's not cool. You know, that's basically sexual I do, harassment. I do it two in the morning. What's that? I put them out at like two in the morning. I'm oh. not doing any of that. No, that's not I'm true. Married. That's not true because, because the high school girls wouldn't be there at 2 in the morning. So that that sounds That's like you're, not happening, you're, you're making things All up. Right, well, so you need to stop, right, well, you have a good day. stop doing that weird thing with your tongue. You know, the, these are kids, sir. My weird thing with my tongue? Yeah, yeah. They, they've told us all about what you've been doing, and you need to cut that out. All right. Whatever, we, whatever that is. Oh, you know what it is. You need to stop doing that. Stop being such a pervert. You're married. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. As long as we have an understanding. Yeah, we do. Good man. What do you mean, good man? Good job. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just talking about stop perving out on all the, the Catholic high school girls. I don't. Yes, you do. We we have several reports, several complaints. You need to cut that out. Who are you calling from? 
I'm calling from the comptroller's office here with the city. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what that is. You, oh, it doesn't make sense just because you don't know what it is? Comp controller's office? What is that? With the city. Every city has a comptroller's office. You must not be into civic stuff, I guess. No. Look, it doesn't matter. Just stop perving out on all the high school girls. I'm not perving out on high school girls. You kind of are. I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. But don't make us call and tell your wife you keep perving on all the Catholic high school girls. <laughs> all right, sir. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. Everybody's just seeing right through my bullshit today. I'm about to give up. I think the show's about over. And I'm surprised he didn't blame somebody else. He's like, yeah, I, the help. They're the ones that put the signs down. I mean, he had a different excuse, the whole two in the morning thing. So that makes it completely okay. He's creeping around the Catholic girls' high school at two in the morning. Roofing. Oh, hello. This is Brad from at and I was calling to let mm -hmm. you know we're going to be changing this number. This four one number, you've been outbid on it. So what? You've been outbid on this phone number, so we're going to be changing it to a new phone number. And the old one's not You're kidding. Oh, no. Nope. So I got your new number here. Uh, I'm getting ready to start up the sequence right now. What? What? No, wait a minute. Uh, so you're with AT&T, you said? Correct, yes. Well, we've had this number forever. You can't do that. Oh, no. You got outbid on it. So Somebody outbid you on it. Uh, looks like I don't it. understand what that means. I mean, but but you can't just take a number that we've had forever. We're business. You can't yeah, well, just do that. We've got all our phone, this phone number, and all of our everything. Yeah, but you don't really own the number. We own the number. You're just using it. I didn't know people could bid on the number. Yeah, you ever yeah. Heard of such a it thing? It looks like uh, you got outbid by Jim Davis over at the Warden Cliff Shopping Center. He he said he was tired of you putting your signs out there. I don't know what that means, but. Yeah, he said he wanted to outbid you on your number, so he bid seventeen hundred dollars. So, uh, yeah, I've got your new number here if you'd like that. Uh, he's with where did you say? Oh, uh, the Warden Cliff Shopping Center. Warden. Uh, Warden Cliff. Warden. Warden Cliff Towers. Warden Cliff. Warden Cliff Towers. Where's that? And where is that? I at? don't know. That's just uh, you know he has a PO box on his account here. But yeah, I'm I'm just. Mm. Uh, and what is your who? What is your name? What is your phone number? Uh, well, I'm with AT and T customer service. We have the toll free mm -hmm. number. But yeah, what I'm, I'm just I'm number? calling to uh, just give you your new phone number, and I'm setting up his account right now with your old phone number. With this four six. No, uh, uh, you have to tell me your your phone number and oh, your name, sure, so I okay. can check you out with AT and T because oh. I'm not sure this is on the up and up. Oh, you'll know it's on the up and up whenever uh, you know you call your number and it's disconnected. Or, or they answer Wardenclyffe Shopping Why Center. Why would I, I call my own number? Well, if somebody <laughs> else tries to call you, they're going to get the Wardenclyffe Shopping Center tower. Is that in Missouri? That place? Uh yeah, yeah. They say you put up a lot of signs in front of their, in front of their shopping. No, we center. don't. Well, I don't. No. Know, I, this, I'm not. I'm not in. I'm not trying to get in the middle of this. I'm just letting you know you've been outbid on your phone number, and we're getting ready to and change it. And what is it. your name? Your, so, what is your name? Uh, my name is Brad. Brad, and yep. you work for AT and T. Uh huh. And what is supposed to be the new number supposed to be? Uh, well, you're going to be in the nine one three area code now. It's nine one three four five seven six nine six nine. And when is this supposed to start? Uh, as soon as I finish typing in all the commands here, it's a kind of a, mm -hmm. a complicated process. I've got to put your number on hold and. And then, uh, you know, transferred over to the Warden Cliff people. How do you then, spell Warden Cliff? I don't know. It's it's like an Austrian name or something. If you can't read it, how do you know what it is? Well, you know, I, I shouldn't even be telling you who, who outbid you on this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just reading from the, the computer screen. Okay, why? What's happening? Well, this is rude. She put me on hold. Hello. Oh, hello? Hi. Hello. Uh, this is Brad from the AT&T. I'm... I, I don't know who I'm talking to now. Uh, we're just changing your number, though. This uh, 471, it's not going to work anymore. We've had this number for 40-something years. Yeah, it's probably time you just let somebody else have a, a turn at it, I guess. But you got outbid no. on it. So it's changing right now. I'm getting ready to complete the process, and you've got a new phone number in the 913 area code. 
No, no. Well, no, you can't. You like can't that. just. Oh, yes, it does. We own the number, sir. Sir, we're just letting you use it. We. This is an established business that's been around since '78. It's 43 years. Had the same number all these years. Yeah. And, uh, you never really own your number, though. So you're gonna have to give out, uh, you know, your new number to everybody. Uh, I gave out your your new number to that that lady. Nine one three is not even in this area code. Yeah, well, it basically doesn't really matter anymore. You know where your area code is. Num- numbers are numbers are you know they're just they're all interchangeable. Nobody pays attention to numbers anymore. You know you can you can. And who are you with? You can keep your number and move across the country and. I'm with AT and T, your phone provider. So, and where's your you guys' office at? Well, I, I'm in the call center in Florida. Um, this is customer service with AT and T. Okay, yeah. I mean, I've never heard of such a thing. I've heard of like a rollover number to where, you know, the established number rolls over somewhere else. Oh no, your your that phone number is gonna be picked up by the uh, Wardenclyffe Shopping Center. They outbid you on your phone number. We never, whatever this bid thing is, we never had a chance to even bid on it. I don't get how that works. Yeah, it was a silent auction. And where are these people at? Uh, they're at the Wardenclyffe Shopping Center. I guess that's there in town. I don't really know your area that well. Your wife has asked me a bunch of silly questions, too. But, yeah, I'm in Florida, so I wouldn't know. I'm just in the customer service center, just doing my job here. So we're going to be changing your right. number in just a minute. I'm completing it right now. And then uh, do you, I guess you wrote down the the new number, your brand new number. No, I didn't. Oh, well, she, uh, didn't, she didn't write it down. And what is your name? My name is Brad. Brad what? Tompkinson. But your new number is a lot easier to remember. It ends with 6969. And what is your last name? Tompkinson. common spelling so yep in about uh three minutes your your uh, phone number probably won't work for a few days until uh warden cliff takes it over and hooks it up on their end i've never heard of warden cliff even oh they, they say uh the the jim he, he's the uh the owner of the shopping center he says you put a lot of signs up in front of his shopping center so he just wanted to take your number no well that's what he said no huh? have to, okay all right, well, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Okay, All well, right. uh, did, did you get the new number? Well, shit, not even the number-changing people are getting pissed at me. It is really time to just end this show. And it actually said right on his sign that, you know, we've been in business since 1978. So I guess they've always had the same number. Oh, here's one that would hate getting a number changed because the last four digits of their number spells out the word roof which is the most inconvenient thing to do to your customers in 2021. Make them look on a keypad to figure out the numbers. Who does that anymore? Yeah, hello? Hello, it's uh, Gary from AT&T. I was calling to let you know we're going to be changing your phone number today. This 86 number. Why would you be changing my phone number? Oh, you got outbid on it. So uh, somebody else owns it now. But uh, I have your new number here. I'm sorry, what? What? I'm, I'm not getting you. What happened? Oh, somebody outbid you on your phone number. They, they paid more money. How can somebody bid me on my phone number? Uh, well, they, they uh, just contacted us and said they want to buy your number, and they named a price, and we accepted it. No, they cannot buy my number. Oh, no. I've been using this number for 10 years. Yeah, well, they, uh, Carol owns it now. Beg your pardon? A lady named Carol owns your phone number now. How would she own my number? Uh, she called us and she bid on it. She she bid. Uh, so what do I have to do? Uh, well, you have to write down your your new phone number. I have your new phone number here. Which company do you work for? AT and T. The phone company. I don't want you to change my phone number. Oh yeah, well, I'm sorry. We have to because uh, Carol owns your number now. She has your she, this eight six number. Whenever anyone calls no, it, they're can. they're gonna reach Carol. She- no, she cannot own my phone number. That is impossible. What? How? Why would you guys give her my phone number? Oh, because she outbid you on it. She paid more money. So do you want me to pay more money to get back my number? Oh no, no. She's uh, she just wants to.
take your number and I have your new number right here if you if you'd like to write it down. I don't want my new number. I want to keep my number. Why would you guys give her my number? I'm on that contract with AT and T. Yeah, well the the contract doesn't cover the actual phone number. So we're we're just gonna change your phone number. You you have a new area code and everything. No, I don't want to have a new phone number. Okay. Well there's no charge for it. You know, you don't have to pay for it. That, it's free. That's why I say I don't need to have a new phone number. Yeah, but I want to keep my number. Carol already paid us. Carol already paid us. She she uh she bid uh two thousand three hundred and thirty five dollars for your phone number. So you want me guys to give you three thousand dollars so I, I can keep my number? No, no. Carol already got it. It's hers for the next year. She got a a year lease on it. I don't want anybody to yeah. have my phone number. You you can. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can bid on it next year. Maybe, maybe you can outbid no. Carol next year. I don't want you. To, <laughs> you guys are phoning. You know that. Okay. You guys cannot give anybody my phone number. No, we we have to. Like Carol already paid us. I'm getting ready to make the change right now on the computer. You cannot so make I'm, any change on my phone number. That's what I'm telling you. Or you guys will have a lawsuit for me. Oh no, you you're not allowed you guys, to sue us over a phone number. Like we own the phone number. That's what you, I'm saying. You don't own the phone number. We own the phone number. You guys cannot take my number and give somebody else. Um well Carol Carol says she runs a beauty salon and you're always putting signs out in front of her beauty salon. So she wanted to take your number. Your uh, Carol says she runs a beauty salon. And you're always putting these signs out in front of her beauty salon, and she says they're ugly. So she wants to take. Your, I she's taking your number because she doesn't like your signs, I guess. Oh, that's why she wants to take my number. But, but that's between you and her. You know, it's none of my business. I'm just letting you know. Carol has your number okay. now, and you you have a brand new phone number. Oh crap! He's going to the beauty salon now. He's gonna have a word with Carol. He hung up on me. That was actually a sign from Paulster Cactus, not the sign guy. This is the first one I've done that hasn't been the sign guy. Paulster Cactus has been sending a lot of stuff in, too, lately. A lot of signs. Signs and business cards. The mailbox belonging to two. Now that guy's not picking up. Mailbox belonging to two. He's just hitting the F-U button. It's going straight to voicemail now. So thanks for that one, Paulster Cactus. Hey, look, there's another phone number on this poll. It's a picture of a telephone pole, and there are several signs on it. Most of them for that guy I just talked to. He does a lot of stuff. He does computer repair. He does buy and own your own home. And he does uh, cyber security programming, IT courses. He's a hustler with that phone number. But then there's a very small sign underneath that I almost missed. Thank you for calling me delivery this Sharita. Help me, I help you. Oh, hey, Sharita. Uh, th this is this is uh, Greg. Uh, I, I put some signs up on a telephone pole here, and you keep taping your sign over my sign, and that's not cool. So can we you not... haven't put any signs out for a while now. Yeah, but whenever you do put them out, like when I drive by and I see my signs, and there's always one of your signs taped on top of it, and, and that's not cool, you know? Like, you're not even buying the cool cardboard signs. You've just got these flimsy paper signs that you're taping on top of our fancy cardboard signs. So don't do that. Who are you? Uh, this is Brad. I, I do computer repair and I, I buy and sell homes and IT courses. I have signs all over town, but it seems like, I don't know if you have something against me or something, but... You keep taping your we sign. We have no idea who you are, so well, we would have nothing against you. Well, listen here. Why are you doing that and to my signs then, lady? I don't put up the signs. Well, who does it? So don't call me again you and tell me don't do something. You tell your it's sign. Your, you tell your sign guy your to cut pole, that out. So you can't. No, you need to not call me again. Listen here, motherfucker. Hey, it wasn't on top of anyone else's sign, but it is a flimsy little sign there down on the bottom. It looks like she's got some laminate over it but it's just a normal sized piece of paper. Like anyone can read that. I almost missed it myself. I think I've had enough of these sign calls for today though, so I'm done. I'm quitting the show. The show's over. Let's just play a bunch of voicemails for the next hour or so. This is fucking dopey. And don't you dare play this on the air. I swear to God, I'll fucking sue you if I hear one little bit of this on the air at all, anywhere, ever. Okay. You do not have my permission. This is, I'm revoking all permission to put anything on the air ever at any point. You're a goddamn scammer. You're a scammer. And I'm outing all right. you. I, I better shut off this one minute long voicemail before I get in trouble because it looks like it's just the same thing for the entire minute. Hey, Brad. It's Dave from Texas. Hey, Dave. I was trying to get my wife of mine that wife of mine into 
butthole winking, and I was wondering if you suggested bleaching or waxing. Nah. Anyway, love ya. Buttholes should be natural. Don't modify your butthole. Your wife should love your butthole for the way it is. Sorry for calling again. Sorry to be a bug, but it's okay. Thank you. You make me laugh. You're welcome. Because I can't do anything right now because I injured myself. But stop injuring yourself. Thank you, Brad. You're welcome. And Cody. And sleeve. And and all those fucking. Oh, bitches. and sleeve. And Cody. What the fuck's Cody ever do? That no-name motherfucker. And I guess you're referring to your first voicemail. I like your show. Eat booty and hang up the phone, hang up the phone, hang up the phone, hang up the phone, yep. hang up the phone. That's that's the whole thing right there. So thanks for leaving those two voicemails in a row. You could have just left the nice second one. Hey Roy, this is uh, Brad Carter calling from Oregon. I was wondering Hi, Brad Carter. if you've used that whole uh, there's a sock on the door handle thing uh, many times over the years. Like you don't want to interrupt your roommate. Mm-hmm. Have you ever combined that with the um, with the Karens, the I want to speak to the manager crowd? You go and be like, yeah, I can get the manager on the phone. And then you come back and be like, oh, wait, are you sure you want the manager on the phone? I think I've done that, haven't I? I feel like I have. Maybe I haven't. Because like, there's a sock on the door handle, and I don't want to get fired over that. Pretty sure I've done that. Yeah, he's really strict about bothering him at that time. Yeah. Um, I just thought that would be, that'd be a fun He's got one of his bitches in there. Um, yeah, that's just me. Yeah. But what do I know? I'm just fucking Brad Carter. I don't know. That's anyway, true. you have a you have a you have a great you have a great night, man. All right, Hello, bye, you. Brad Carter. Hello, Roy. Hey. Uh just called uh say hello from Tennessee. Hey. Uh, I like the shows. You better. I like the way you smell. What? I like the way you sound. You oh, Yeah. I'm, yeah. I don't like you. this. I'm hanging up. Don't call back here again. You're scary. Denver from Pennsylvania. Hey, Brad. I haven't called you in, I think, about a year now. Hey. And I'm giving a follow-up that I have now paid my fine for the harassment charge I was given for changing a movie theater's voicemail. So I just want to thank you again oh, for that, for showing me the capability that I had and that I can uh, do that. And uh, the assessment that it's been has been great. Uh, so, yeah, I wish you well, and I hope you're continuing the show. And, uh, yeah. Of course I am. And that's awesome if you actually got charged for hacking an answering machine and it's all my fault. I'm a really bad influence. You should stop listening to me. Hey, Brad, it's Chaz the Tandem Stacker. Hey, uh, I just... Greg the Tandem Stacker. Good to have you calling back in again. I was heartbroken when I was called a douchebag. And I was about to say something mean like, well, at least a douchebag gets near a vagina once. But I decided that was mean. Yeah. So I played back the message, and it was obviously Chad, C-H-A-D, not me, Chaz, with the Z. Anyways, hope you're doing well. Thanks. Bye. What the fuck is a Z? Us Americans don't know what Zs are. Hey, Brad. It's Bob Winker. I'm taking a page out of the old Carlito playbook. I'm talking with my mouth full. Oh, that's great. Anyway, hey, you know how you're always saying? Um, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't joke about that. I'm a Christian. Did you know that you can actually go online and buy a, a like an internet um, thing to become a like an ordained minister? I did. <laughs> like seriously, yeah. you can do that. I don't want so then, to. So you should get ordained online, and that way you can tell people it's okay. I wouldn't joke about that. I'm an ordained minister. <laughs> Yeah, I could do that. Or I could just say that I'm an ordained minister and not do all the online bullshit because I'm way too lazy for that. All right, one last voicemail. I know I said I was going to play all of April on the last show, but I don't have time for that tonight. I'm just doing just a few voicemails today. Hey, Brad, it's Jamaco from Sadio County. Hey. Uh, I'm calling from Idaho. Uh, I'm on a road trip to visit with my mom and all that, but I find it funny because yeah. you played... Always a good idea to tell the listeners where your family lives. Uh, recently, you called a car rental place, and I'm actually renting my first car to come up here, so I thought it was kind of funny, and your last episode, Dandelion, that was hilarious. Thanks. That guy got so pissed about the Dandelion. He sure anyway, did. Anyway, Brad, take care. Thank you. That was from April 27th, so two or three weeks ago, back on the Dandelion episode. 
Thanks for the voicemail, DeMarco. Okay, the show's over. I have so much editing to do, and I want to get this up tonight so I can do a hobo so tomorrow. So thank you to the sponsors, The Least Creative, B.I. Ever for Life, I Regret Jumping, Gobi, and F.N. Reality. If you're not a supporter of the show, you should go do that at patreon.com slash phone losers. Remember, everybody, don't bleach your buttholes. Natural buttholes are the best. Dingleberries and all. That's what I always say. And the signs say long-haired freaky people need that. Don't worry about my treats.